Hi and welcome to this tutorial. In our previous tutorial we wrote a collection of objects in uh, our entity class and we persisted it in a separate table. Uh, we're going to look at some ways we can tweak the collection object here. We can uh, tweak the way Hibernate saves this uh, collection and uh, we'll also explore some advanced options. So the first thing is the name of the table. Hibernate has uh, given this name for us. It's the uh, class name user details underscore the you know the member variable name list of addresses say I want to tweak this this is not a very user friendly name um, I want to have the name as user underscore address so all I do is add an annotation here add join table let me import this and uh, what I'm mentioning here is the configuration for this join table. Join table is this one, the user details underscore list of addresses. So I'm just using the join table annotation to configure it. The join table is not mandatory as we've already seen. Without this join table configuration, there are uh, defaults that Hibernate goes for, including the name and a few other things, and um, which is fine, but if you want to configure it, you would use this annotation. So then, you know, the configuration that I want to do here is name equals user address. That's it. So on top of the uh, the collection uh, declaration and the definition, I just use this join table annotation. Now save and run. You can see the uh, table name has changed. It's now user underscore address. Okay, now how about this primary key? Even this is uh, this doesn't look very good. It's a user details underscore user ID, which is the key. Again, how it's got this key name is by using this class name user details underscore the primary key name of this class, which is user ID. So this is again the default, and we can override this. So what I do is inside this join table annotation, I will add a comma here and I will add a join columns equals at join column and now I can give a name here and I will let the name be user ID itself. Okay, I will have to import. Let me remove this so that it gives me the auto suggestion. I think like this, just a little shortcut there. Okay, so what I'm doing here is uh, the join table has a property called join columns and the join columns takes a join column annotation. Now I can define a new join column annotation with this name so that the join column that's used inside this join table will be this join column here. So clear this out, save and again run this. There you go, the, you, you know the uh, reference ID, this is again the foreign key, is it was earlier the class name underscore user ID, now it's just user underscore ID. So this has, you know, this is the join column that it's taken. Okay, the next week that we can do, um, let's have a look at this table here. Okay, this is no longer with this name, it's user underscore address. Okay, now we have this table here. We have a foreign key, which is user ID, but this table does not have a primary key. There's no index column here. Now, what if you want to define an index, an ID for this table? You want to define an ID for a collection, which is inside your entity class. So in order to have an index column, I need to have a, a data type that supports index. I cannot use a hash set because there's no, uh, there's no index supported in the hash set. So the first thing I'll do is I'll change 
this uh, from a set to a collection I'll probably implement uh, implement an array list array list is a good option because uh, you have indexes in arrays so array list arrays are all possible options so I'll, I'll just go with an array list this time I'll I'll again declare with the interface I am not going to declare the array list here uh, my list of addresses will not be an array list it will be def declared as the interface collection now me import this now from java.util the reason why we are uh, reason why we write the interface here and not the implementation will be clear in our next tutorial where we're going to talk about eager and lazy loading of objects this is uh, this is a very important concept and uh, we're going to cover that in the next tutorial but for now note that this is there's always going to be an interface and uh, when you are defining when you say new that's when you have an implementation so i'll say array list so i have defined this as an array list now i'll update the getters and setters okay so now i have an array list having the list of addresses this will not change it will still be get list of addresses start add because um, we are putting the object using the interface method that will still be a dot add and it'll take object as a parameter so it's instead of adding to a set now it's adding to a a collection which is an array list in this case now what i need to do here is i need to define the primary key uh, configuration here so the way i do that is by using this annotation called add collection id now this add collection id is uh, unique in that it is not a jpa annotation so far whenever we've been doing imports for the annotations we have been importing from java x dot persistence you see here all the annotations that we have uh, we have imported in the past they're all from java x dot persistence what this means is that whatever annotations that we have written so far are all compliant with the jpa standard the jpa standard is the standard that has been specified for persistence implementations by a standard body and now what we are doing is we are not using the jpa annotation we are using something specific to hibernate now hibernate implements the jpa uh, standard so even though we're using the jp annotations the implementer of all these is hibernate because we've, we've added the hibernate library so when we say do a add table hibernate reads this add table and says hey i need to create this table so even though the specification is jpa the implementer is hibernate but in this case this feature is not provided by jpa this feature is additional feature provided by Hibernate alone. So if you're if you're changing uh, your implementer from Hibernate to something else, uh, all these others would work provided they implement JPA, but this would not work because this is uh, specific to Hibernate. But which is fine. You can you can use uh, features that are specifically provided by Hibernate, but uh, it's always better to use a JPA standard because that will leave us with less things to change when we move from one. You know a jpa provider to another jpa provider it's already imported it here it's uh it says org dot hibernate dot annotations dot collection id now what this means is that the collection id annotation is not from java x dot persistence the collection id annotation is from org dot hibernate dot annotation so it's an annotation specific to hibernate alone okay now here i'll do this add missing attributes now these are the attributes that the collection id expects so the first of all the columns what is the column that you want to define as the primary key next thing is the generator how is the gen how is the primary key to be generated and the third thing is the type what is the type of the primary key now let me start with the first one so i'll use the add column annotation to define name equals I'll call this address ID so what I'm doing is I'm giving a name 
for this ID, which is going to list all the, the collection of addresses. So I'll call this the address ID. So for generator, I will define a new generator here. I'll call this the at generic generator. Now I'll import this again. You notice this is from org.hibernate.annotation. So we're going deep into Hibernate territory here. We're we are away from the standard JPA annotations. Now the generator, let me call this a name. I'll call this Hilo Gen and let's say strategy equals Hilo. So Hilo is a is common uh, generator type which Hibernate supplies. So I'm going to use that. And here in my collection ID annotation, I'll provide this generator name. So I'll call this Hilo Gen. Okay. So now this leaves us with the last one, which is the type. So it has type equals at type. At type is again um, an annotation in order to define the type of the um, of the you know the primary key column that we are entering here so i will have this type as type equals I will, i'll make this a long so it um, so the you know the primary key column is going to be long okay in summary in order to have a collection of objects as a member variable inside your entity class the first thing you need to do is to change the data type of the collection to something that supports IDs, with something that supports indexes. And an array list supports indexes. I'm going to use an array list now. So again, I change this one to an interface, which is of array list. And uh, I mean, an interface which array list is implementing, which is collection. So I write that here. Now I have, you know, a list which supports indexes. The next thing I do is I define this add collection ID annotation. Now the add collection ID annotation tells that this collection should have an identifier. Now the add collection ID has properties which define what the identifier should be. First of all, I define the column, which is address underscore ID. The uh, identifier should have a column name, of course. So that column is uh, you know listed here. The next thing is the type. What is the type of the identifier? I want this to be a long. And the third thing is, what is the generator? See, this, this ID is not present here. Address does not have an ID, so I cannot really set the ID. It has to be auto-generated. Now, in order to auto-generate it, what I do is I define a generator, which is a high-low. High-low is one type of generator that Hibernate provides. So I define a generator, which is a high-low. And then once I've defined the generator, I can use this in many places. Here, I'm going to use it for the generator tag. And I'm saying generator is high-low, which says use this generator in order to generate the primary key for this address ID, which is an index for this list of addresses. And uh, again, as we discussed, all these are Hibernate annotations, which means that they are org.hibernate.annotations import. They are not JPA standard. So if you change your provider from Hibernate to something else, then you will have to modify this. But we need to learn this as well because these are the features that Hibernate provides, and uh, you know it's a, there's no point in not using some of these if they're helpful, even though they are not JPA standard. So uh, let me save this and uh, I'll run this again. Okay, now let's um, let's see how it's created. So here you can see address ID has been created and the values one and two have been entered. So this has been auto generated. So now I have a primary key for my address table and uh, depending on how many of our values are insert, the user ID is going to be a foreign key depending on the user that the address is uh, assigned to. This value will be different and multiple rows could have the same user ID, but this will always be a unique column. It will have unique values and you can, this will be the primary key for this table.